Hey gang, today we're going to do a lesson on a very simple but powerful concept in rock and blues soloing, the BB King box, or more simply, the BB box. Used not only by BB King himself, but also by all of your favorites, from Peter Green and Jimmy Page to modern players like John Mayer and Marcus King. And the reason that they use it is because it's a really simple way to get some really emotional lines and also some cool lines. We're going to cover what it is and how it works. Make sure to stick to the end because I give several examples. One in particular will cover the whole solo and there's tab for it as well. And you can click on a link below to get the tab. So full service on this one. Hey, if this is your first time here, please subscribe right now. I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of these lessons. All right, let's get to it. First, let's cover what is it and how to get to it, how to find it. Now we're going to do this in A because we're guitar players, so <laughs> of course. So let's do this up close. We can find the BB box pattern by starting on the note of its root. Now the root is just the note that names the pattern, and in this case, it's an A, right? We're gonna play this in A. So we wanna to go to the B string 10th fret because that is an A note. And you can verify that by playing the open A string. And you can hear it's the same quality, but just a couple of octaves up. So that's our starting point for where we're gonna learn how to navigate around this little pattern. Now, let's think about the pattern going up in pitch. Really simple, we'll go 10 to 12 on the B string, and then on the E string, 10 to 12. So, that's pretty simple. Now we'll go down in pitch. These notes are pretty important. So we're gonna go down to the G string, G string 11 and G string nine. And that's it for the notes in the pattern. <laughs> All right, so that's the pattern, but why is it so great? Well, let me tell you, one of the key things is that it's so simple that you can focus on putting emotion into your lines. What goes along really well with that is that the bends are perfect in this. It's perfect position for doing all sorts of bending. All right, let me show you. All right, check it out. We're gonna do some bends on this position. Same thing, we're gonna play it in A. How about this one? And we can even do a, some overbending. So lots of really cool bending. It's natural to use our third finger in this pattern to do those bends. So we can really do the bends really well. That can make our play emotional. Okay, so we can play some emotional lines and it's simple. We can focus on the notes that we're trying to play or the sounds that we're trying to get. That's fantastic. What else? Well, a huge bonus is that we can handle major and minor pentatonics pretty seamlessly. It's actually pretty amazing. Let me show you. So you already actually heard it. Here was our bend. That's a bend that we can use for a major chord. That's just a whole step bend. Now I could go into the theory of that going, this is an A and when I go to the B, I'm bending up a whole step to the third of A. However, if I wanna just play one note and bend a half step, I can bend to what's called a minor third. And that gives me that minor pentatonic sound or that minor sound. Do you hear the difference? And that's just because we can play this note instead of this note on the pattern. So check it out. It's really super easy to go between those by only changing one note, the B string 12 to the B string 13. Totally simple. We're gonna do three examples now, two quick ones and a longer one. I'm gonna do all of these in A. For the first two, I'll transpose them into their original keys as well. The first one is John Mayer's Gravity. Here's Gravity in A. All right.
right. Now if we want to transpose that to the original key, I just played it in A, the pattern that we know, all I have to do is find that starting point in G. It, the song is in the key of G. So G happens to be on the B string 8th fret instead of the 10th, so we just play the same pattern. For the second example, I stomped on a little bit of gain just to give it the right flavor. We're going to do Jimmy Page's Whole Lot of Love. Now this is just a tiny excerpt from the solo in there. I'm going to start it out, play it in A. All right, now I'm going to transpose it to its original, which is based off of an E, I believe. So we can find an E right here on the, on the fifth fret, but Paige played it way up here on the 17th fret. Again, we just played the same pattern. Okay, here's our longer example. This is Peter Green's I Need Your Love So Bad. We're going to do the whole opening solo to it. There you have it, the BB Box, a simple and effective concept to add into your play. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and don't forget to subscribe for lots of other stuff. And also, don't forget to click the link below to get the tab. All right, we'll see you on down the road.